told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away
been a fairly interesting lion morning or a fairly interesting lion day late in the morning we found the Ottawa male moving past the camps he ended up chasing a pride that we didn't even know was in the river just in front of tree camp some of that pride is now lying in the river still there the Ottawa males moved off we're not too sure where but we did hear a lion roaring in the north of the reserve now we found a Birmingham male and an Ensevu female together. We haven't seen them mating yet, but we presume that's why they're together. What's fascinating is the male, the Birmingham male, is only about 500 meters from where the Ottawa male was this morning. But as far as we know, there was no interaction there. So uh, we would have expected there to be some kind of clash. Birmingham male would have heard the Ottawa male roaring for sure. The female here is one of the Ensevo lionesses and she was giving a soft contact call just now. We're hoping that they'll want to reunite. Maybe she'll walk over to them or they'll come out of the river and join her. Mm -hmm. The Ottawa Okay, copy that. So I'm going to be working in the west and um, try and follow up on elephants in that area. Well, very good afternoon to everyone. not too far from this area and I thought we'd just go and start our game drive to find out what is disturbing them. First of all, my name is Ross. I'm going to be guiding you this afternoon and hopefully we can find some really cool stuff out here. I sort of heard the elephants trumpeting quite a bit. If there is a big group of elephants and they're congregating, find the young calves might sort of make quite a ruckus amongst each other. But also if a predator gets into the area, they'll start chasing that predator out. They don't tolerate predators anywhere near them, even if it's a wild dog or a leopard or a lion. It's always worth uh, just following up and seeing what may have disturbed them. The western section is quite a thick area of vegetation in the uh, area that we're going to go in. You'll find that it carries a diverse amount of uh, species of, pre of prey and uh, predator. And leopards are obviously known to move into this area. Elephant, rhino, buffalo I've seen down here. Hippo, close to the river. Lots of different antelope as well. So there is an elephant just off to our right by the river. I just wanted to see if the rest of the herd is here. <clears throat> Sounded like quite a big group. Uh, make our way around here carefully. Something's disturbing them. Here we go. There's the remaining herd members. Like small ones. The small calves. There's another calf right here. And generally elephants are very quiet animals considering their size. But they were trumpeting quite a bit earlier. 
And I've got a feeling there might be a predator nearby. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue a little bit further along the river. This is really ideal conditions or uh, a habitat for predators, particularly leopard. Uh, some really big trees that we need to look out in. Another very big elephant at the back. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back to the elephant herd in a little while if they're still in the area. So we'll make use of our time. Let's see if we can move on and see just to make sure there's no predators nearby. It's quite a big group, maybe about 20, maybe more. Big female. Oh, there's a big one right on the road. Scan up in the trees. It's a bull that's on the road at the moment. We are going to give him some space. Let's just see if he's going to walk down into the river. Nope, he's going to decide to come down the road. So what we'll do is we'll just reverse back here and let him pass us. Make sure we make way for him. The elephants do have right of way here. any signs of being aggressive to us he's just very slowly walking past it's pretty spectacular it's pretty amazing and you can hear that they're so quiet he's off to join the rest of the group so great that he actually came right past in front of us. Wasn't expecting that. I thought he might go down into the river. So we just had that big bull pass us on the road. A group of elephant moving down towards the river. But I just want to double check that we didn't miss something further up here. The elephants were making a lot of noise in this area. There's sort of a commotion going on in the bush. And generally that can really only be predator related. You might have stumbled across some lions or a leopard or even wild dog. So I'm just making 100% sure we didn't miss something here. Just having a good look in the thick bush. It's a little hard to see. I mean, if the predators were disturbed, they'd be moved away from where perhaps they were lying up from the elephants. Elephants don't tolerate any predators. Leopard right here, up in the tree. my way around, right at the top there. It looks like she just went up the tree. Probably chased by the elephants. See. Wow, what a view. Just gonna make our way in slowly here. We don't want to disturb her. Let's give her a bit of space here. Stop right there. Got a good view. What a find. Didn't think that we'd actually find anything. Often when elephants have moved through an area, they would chase predators completely away. And it is tough to find them. Um, might find that she was chased and she decided to go up a ruler tree and just sit up here for safety until the elephants have moved off. It looks like she might descend the tree. So what I'm gonna do is just position to sort of see her come down. It looks like she's getting a little bit active. I'll just maneuver, maneuver around her as slow as I can. Yawning, a clear indication that uh, looking to get a little active. She is beautiful. I couldn't ask for her to pose any better. Look at that. Now if we're lucky, she'll make her way down the tree to this last branch and maybe stop for a short while. Sort of scanning her surroundings. Here 
Here she comes. Look at that grace, big stretch. Hopefully she stops on that lower branch, let's see. Blending perfectly into that dappled light. Not even going to pause, she's just going to make her way down. A little scratch. So she's just descended the tree and moved somewhere in the thick bush here. We were so fortunate to see up the tree because it is really thick to have a look at. Just want to have a look. She might come back out. It's not uncommon for her to come out to the road. Quite a bit of rain last night, so it's not unusual for leopards to move out into open clearings and sort of demarcate their territorial area. There we go, I can see her moving through the grass now. She blends in so well. the rain not only will male leopards and female leopards uh, ensure that their demarcated territorial zones are well centered find that gives them an opportunity to be able to communicate to each other set out some sort of boundary um, that they could establish if there's other females or males in that area she is walking straight off into the thick bush i don't think we're gonna follow her too much uh, let's see how far we get here a little bit thick, there is a termite now and there. She might go up there and have a look around. She definitely is utilizing all the elevated areas. The termite mounds are quite commonly utilized by leopards, it's sit right on top of them. And you can see at this point she's not concealing herself in any way. So she's had a fair scan around and hasn't seen anything. And she's just moving through, obviously smelling. There might be other leopards that have moved through the area. It shows that she hasn't had anything to eat. There's a very good chance that she'd be opportunistic to a meal. It might be a small antelope that she could flush out the area here. And you can snip around the bush. Maybe something was lying down there. Let me move forward a little bit. Leopards feed on a variety of animals. Scrub hares, stienba, yala, vervet monkeys. Impala. I think impala have been by far the most common of the species just due to their abundance. Looks like she's slowly moving back towards the road. We're not going to follow her through the thick bush. We give her a little bit of space there. Uh, we could easily move back to the road and see if we can follow her again.
listening intently the sounds around you potentially hear any source of prey in the bush perhaps impalas moving through that tail moving almost like a mind of its own tail gives away a lot of her sort of behavioral or body language and right now she's just showing a bit of sign of curiosity her ears are pinned forward listening intently we did have tracks of a young male leopard earlier this morning in this area and it would definitely be a very big surprise if she came across him so she's paused in her tracks one leg stretched back not moving besides that tail It's quite nice to see leopard up close like this. You can see those very distinctive rosette markings on their body. Black with the dark and brown in the area. As they move through dampled sunlight, that camouflage on the back would add to that. So if I can move a little bit further forward, just so you can see her front block her view in any way she is beautiful so I can see a group of impala on the left hand side where she's looking they are just moving through the thick bush. It's definitely showing interest to perhaps move into that area. The thick bush is ideal conditions for them to hunt in. They can conceal themselves very, very well. The pilots are not far, maybe about 50 to 60 yards away. It's often quite amazing when you watch leopard like this. Sort of wonder what goes through their mind as to decide whether that would work as a good hunt or whether it would be unsuccessful to hunt in that area. And when to take time out for a bit of patience. She's decided that. As much as she's interested, she's deciding perhaps I'm just going to wait. element of surprise. Now that you've gone into a bit of a relaxed state, I'm going to move slightly forward again for you. Pilots have moved off, but I think we couldn't have ended our game drive any better. It's going to stay right here and we're going to continue on. Right, this morning we are watching the world's most inefficient hornbill it's, <laughs> it's a male red bull hornbill that is really struggling to provide for his female she is happily ensconced in a hollow in a uh, what tree is this the brown ivory tree we featured a story on hornbills a couple of weeks ago swipe up to see that one 
I'll just give you an idea of how they nest, but short story, the female seals herself into a cavity where she lays the eggs and she gets fed by a male through a crack. Oh, no, ground hornbills calling. I thought there might be lions that can sound similar at a distance. And this male we've been watching, <laughs> it took him 20 minutes to bring the first food item to her, even though he was hopping around everywhere searching. He fed himself so much, but he took a long time to take her or anything. We filmed a yellow billed hornbill a couple of weeks ago. Oh, he's flying over here. Wait, there he goes. But yeah, photographically beat is a great because you can predict with a fair amount of accuracy where they're going to land and you can be ready. <laughs> 